Hey y'all, Miss Chocolate Star here, and I am going to be doing another tag tag video. Okay, um, this tag is from a new subscriber. Her name is Tracy Love Sixty Eight. Hey girl, how you doing, girl? And it is a I've got it on my phone here. I'm trying to pull it up here. Seventeen questions. Now that's a lot of questions, and y'all know I'm long-winded, and I talk a lot, so I'll try to keep it, keep it going. Okay, um, this is, the name of the tag is, I don't know the name of it, hold on, hold on, hold on. my phone wasn't trying to scroll down, um, it is called, Be Confident or Beware Tag. Now I watched hers, but I don't know what the title was about, but, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, number one, when did you first get into makeup? How old were you? I don't remember. I, I'm old, y'all. I'm like knocking on the door of ancient. Uh, I would say college. Um, going to different parties on, y on the yard. Um, had to be college. I would do like all my girls. They came to me to get the eyebrows done. Um, yeah, college had to be when I thought I was grown. And number two, what made you start wearing makeup? Just answer that. Thought I was grown. You're trying to be grown. How do you feel when you wear makeup? Sassy. Um, you know, you could create different looks and you just become the look that not that you become the look but it I don't know what I'm trying to say you <laughs> could just change your look with the way you're feeling with your mood like your makeup could be your mood ring I know I'm corny number four what is, what is a makeup product that makes you feel beautiful and confident mmm Look, I'm looking in the mirror. I don't know. I didn't know. Um, <laughs> I would say probably um, an eyeliner because I like defined eyes. So, yeah, eyeliner. The eyes are, the, what What did they say? The eyes are the port to the soul. Something like that. Number five, was it, y'all? Yeah? Number five. What product can you live without? Without probably foundation because if you take care of your skin, you really don't need it, and you should have a clean canvas anyway. Um, so I rather die with my Mary Kay products to keep the face clean. But I do have some spots that I'm trying to get rid of. So if y'all know any, let me see, let me see, like some dark spots. So hyperpigmentation, I, I'm not feeling that. Um, yeah, it's like I don't see it right now, but it's there. Believe me, it's there. Uh, number six. No. Oh, number five was what product can you not live without? So number six, I've already answered, which was what product can you live without? So, back to number five, what product can I not live without? Would probably be the liner. Because as long as you have eyeliner, you could do your lower lash line, your brows, and you could give your, um, you could line your top line and be out the door. No, hold on, it's a toss up because I gotta have my gloss. Gotta have my gloss. I don't know. So, yeah, that's a toss up for number five. Number seven, what is your favorite skincare company? Come on now, I can't be a Mary Kay consultant and not say Mary Kay. I gotta wrap my business, you know. And if y'all y'all need some Mary Kay, holler at me. I got a website. J j just holler at me. I got you. Huh? Woo! That sweet tea from Kroger's. Yeah, make you do that ghetto. <laughs> um. Eight. Clean and Clear or Neutrogena? Neither one. Um, right now, neither one. 
uh, I used to be a clean and clear girl before I found Mary Kay. Um, clean and clear, the morning burst. I used to love the um, the orange one. That was probably like the original one. It just wakes you up in the morning. You'd be in the shower, just putting on, like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Number nine, concealer or bronzer? I don't know. I don't think I know how to properly use concealer. Because, yeah, I'm not trained in it yet. So, I would say bronzer because I like to um, highlight on my cheeks with bronzer. This light is making me look orange, or is it because I'm far away? I don't know. Anywho. Ten. Do you feel confident without makeup? Of course. Come on, y'all. Come on. Like, you got to be confident in who you are before you can put something on your face. The makeup is just to enhance the beauty that's already there. Okay? If you ain't know, now you know. Number eleven. If you could choose any makeup company and had won $500 worth of makeup, which company and what type of makeup would you use? Which company? Hmm. That's hard. That's real hard. It would probably be Elf because Elf has so, it's such a vast variety of things. There, they have good brushes for the low low. Y'all, five hundred dollars could go a long way. Um, yeah, it would be Elf because they have, and they have to have the stuff in stock. That's the thing, cause like they'll bring something out on the market and then it'll just you'll be looking on the site for weeks and like where did it go? So yeah, it would be Elf. What products? I think the second part of the question was. What type of makeup would you use? I have a lot of e.l.f. products. I'm looking on my vanity right now. Um, no, actually, I don't. Just palette. Uh, not palette. Well, I got palette. Um, brushes is mostly. I would use everything that I haven't used yet. I do not feel like arguing with you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, text message came through. Uh, number 12. L.A. Colors or Elf? I just said Elf, so yay, Elf. L.A. Colors, I've never used anything other than when I was real young, before I even went to college, they used to sell, like, their little, um, six shadow palettes and Family Dollar, Big Lots and stuff like that little cheap stuff and you would like experiment with those I probably looked a hot mess <laughs> looking back at that stuff like yeah so Elf definitely Elf 13 Urban Decay or MAC um this is the only thing that I own from MAC which is this uh NW47 foundation and other than that, I think MAC is very overrated. People rave about it, and it's like, hoorah, hoorah. All these big-name companies, I think a lot of smaller companies are very comparable to what they offer. It's just what you actually want to pay for. So, definitely, not definitely, neither one, Urban Decay or uh, MAC. I've never tried anything Urban Decay, but from what I'm hearing or viewing on other people's channels, like, their stuff is comparable to Elf. Like, their primers, everybody raves about. They say there's no difference in that and... I don't even know what primer is. And, no, that's a lot. Got too much stuff up here. And this primer. Like, there's no difference. So, I won't be buying it. Mm -mm. Y'all know my favorite saying, I'm a social worker. I ain't got no money. Uh, Let's see. Number 14, BH Cosmetics or Coastal Scents. Now, Coastal Scents was probably one of my first um, palettes. Let me show y'all this palette. Now, is this this palette? Eee. Look how old this thing is, y'all. <laughs> it is barely even touched. Of course, I only wanted it for the blushes that I hardly ever go to. 
that's the thing about buying and being a makeup junkie. You buy makeup and don't even use it. Like, this stuff sits here and looks at me. It used to sit in the other room and look at me until I had to move my setup in here. So, yeah. Uh, definitely be a... Uh, not definitely. I keep saying that. But, I'm a BH Cosmetics girl now. Um, it, I don't know, y'all. Yeah, BH Cosmetics. Uh, Elf Eyelid Primer or Urban Decay Urban Decay Primer. I didn't even reread these questions after I listened to hers last night, but Elf Primer. Never use Urban Decay. 16, Clinique or Lancome. I don't know. I don't know, yeah. For real. I ain't never used either one of them. 17, last question. If you had to look good for a date, but could only use three products to do so, what would they be? I didn't. I don't even think I heard that question yesterday. Three products that look good for a date. Gloss. A colored gloss. I gotta have a colored gloss. Um. These lips are too big to be ashy and chipped and yeah. So, kind of cheat and make sure I exfoliate and moisturize real good and mattify my face so I won't be shiny. Can I do that? Y'all good with that? Okay. We gonna roll with that. So, uh, color gloss. Um, definitely, I need eyeliner. I, I can rock with a dark brown. Smudge out the brows, you know. Blend that on in, get the underline. So that's two. And mascara. Gotta, gotta make those, those lashes so you can... No. <laughs> that was supposed to be a sexy look. <laughs> So you can bet those eyelashes, you know, to come hither that you shouldn't be doing. Uh-huh, look. Um, so, yeah, that was a tag. It was fun, quick, hopefully quick. I don't know what I'm talking at. I'm going to tag some people, and please do the tag. Uh, I just tag these people because I know they they play with makeup or use makeup on a daily or regular basis. So if I didn't tag you, it's because... You ain't wearing no makeup, and love you anyhow. So, let's go. Pure Eye Candy. I know you're going into surgery, honey bun, but whatever you get well, and you need something to do, jump back into your videos with a tag. Heather King. Y'all, go check her out. She is a cutie pie. She is so cute. Just want to pinch her cheeks. She is cute, and she's talented with that makeup. Um, Cory Bella. Haven't seen you in a while. Medium to plus diva. Hit up this tag early. Real uh real beauty seventy seven. Haven't seen a video from you in about a month or two. Where you at, girly? Tantalizing. I know you like tags, girl, so gotta get up in here. Pink pink hugs one. You love tags too, so hit it up. Shannar four one four. I hit you with all my tags, of course. Fancy Libra twenty seven and Miss Cinnamon Cake. So those ladies are definitely ones I want to see um, this tag from. Anybody else, feel free to do the tag. And peace, love, and hair grease.